We're gonna do a try not to sing or dance oh, to Tupac. I'm sing this. I sing mm. and dance to everyone. Oh, let's go! Okay. That's gonna be hard. That's gonna be tough. All right, guys, headphones on. Oh, I'll start with level one. Mm. <laughs> Already, girl. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Already <laughs> says. <laughs> girl. <laughs> Already. I just sad. What's the worst they can do to a Look how sick! Oh, die in LA. You know you want to be Travis? This beat is so cool. You got to be there to know it. You got to do it. See, I want to be moving the way she's moving. I want to be like, I want to be like, groove. Music video is a vibe. It's his fault. He got me on that one off the top. Like, as soon as it played, boom. I was like, dang it. <laughs> what do we think? Do we know the song? Yes. Yeah. It's like the LA staple song. You know Truth, what I mean? too, man. Lots of like the spots Lots here. Of spots like, in LA. you saw the observatory. Yeah, so this uh, video is kind of like a, a love letter, obviously to South LA, but it's a beautiful portrayal of South LA showcasing Baldwin Hills Crenshaw Plaza, mm -hmm. Johnny's Pastrami, and local churches that populated the landscape. And yeah, just showcasing the beauty of LA. So if you guys have a favorite spot in LA. I did, I did that at Culver City Steps in Baldwin Hills. That's pretty sick. What would we rate this song to dialogue? That's a 10, easy. Oh! oh. I know you were part, you probably don't Remember, I oh. used to be with the sister that never did get with her. When I could see us after school, we bombed on the first place. Stop! Now the whole thing's changed. Cause we don't even get uh, to move. Money scheme, and you ain't even hit. Mm. You and my heart, you was the same. Young. I don't even, I don't even know all the words, and I just wanna just. Oh, 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 oh my oh, god. Oh, wait, you did it. You did it. You did it. <laughs> He, he, he everything. <laughs> oh, that's it. <laughs> I was still. Do you know what this song's about, or like what it talks? About? Name of the song is uh, "I Ain't Mad at You." It's really good. Yes. I don't know a lot of like his yeah. stories, and I know he's all about like spreading word and mm -hmm. messages, but I really should start listening to the words more often. Super smooth, got that R and B flow. Like, is the lyric specifically on this one? Past friends that either betrayed him or his love interest associates just. I'm like, you know when you when life happens, you just yeah. grow apart from yeah. people. The album version of the song was he re released from prison, recorded the same day that he was released from prison. Oh, and wow. the second song that he recorded on the same day, that day with Ambitions as a writer being the first. But Hold on, he, he recorded that the same day. Mm -hmm. Come on. Two hits that's like in two, one day. That's like two different dynamics. Big beast mode, bro. bro. <laughs> if you had to rate this one through ten on your scale of two pa. I, I mean, like, they're all good, really good. They're all really good. But if I'm comparing it to the rest of Tupac, I'd give this one, like, a seven. A seven. Yeah, yes, like a seven. seven. Oh, oh, I was listening to this on the way over. I two left a second. I'm not, come on, man. Hey, hey, shut it down, Trevor. Okay, yeah, that's it. How crazy is this? Especially with the times we in right now, with, Whoa, the car, whoa! Hey, <laughs> I could imagine being in the studio, bro. This shit would be baller. <laughs> Aggie, their clothes are, man. Let's go. Oh my god. Ten. Hey. Hey! How did you Kill, do please. That? Yo! You deserve a Medal of Honor. Something for that. That's that was a tough one. Best freaking diss track ever. Tell me what we're feeling. Why? What is it? I just know, bro, he just went in swinging. Like, mm. not, it's a really nice I song. Mean, bro, that's just like a hard song. It's a hard it goes so song. Hard. It goes so hard. Like being in the studio, so like. Hard. When he makes songs, he makes them for individuals or yeah, two people. For sure. Do so we know the backstory? Yeah. He's calling out Biggie and the East Coast yeah. rappers and like getting them on the. 
Like, this is, like, yeah, war. He's talking about, like, like... Have you ever wondered about, like, anybody around Tupac when they were filming this, whether it be, like, a backup singer or anything? Shook. <laughs> I'd be scared. I Let me show you what it was like. Uh-oh. What is how we gonna do this? Yeah. Do you think that Tupac has crossed his mind? I would love to say a lot, but we are on camera, uh, and I do not want these comments to go crazy on me, but I do have some things stored in the dome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fair. Fun fact, the producer actually said that he's never seen Tupac that angry in his life, and wow. that as much as he enjoyed working on it, he hopes to never do anything like that again. Okay, well, <laughs> but like, look at that song now. Like, that really set off the rap game for both sides. This ain't the life for me, I wanna change, but ain't no future right for me. I'm stuck in the game. I'm trapped inside a maze. See the same way influence me to get me crazy. This illusion lately. I've been really wanting babies. So I can see a part of me that wasn't always shady. Don't trust my lady. This is nice. That's like one of my favorite songs. I'm falling to the floor. Begging for the Lord to let me into heaven's door. There's so many tears. I lost many tears. There's just so many tears. I almost had it. Sorry. I'm going to the song. I mean, big bangers too. It wasn't no denying Pac, bro. He had it, man. Then the harmonica came in, and my brain was like, "You were like, yes, <laughs> yes." It's like, cause he's like pouring his heart out. He's like lost so much. I feel like every song like he created like was from the heart. You know what I mean? It was very genuine, and it just explained like his his life and what he was going through and what other people was going through as well, so. So Many Tears um, is known as one of his like most sad and soulful, soulful songs. And just like you said, it's expressing um, how he navigates life on the streets and how um, he touches on his feelings on loss and regret and he's asking God for forgiveness. And he actually touched on suicide um, too, which is like kind of unheard of in you know the rap game, like at that time. So. That's why it don't matter, my pockets got fatter. Now everybody's looking for the ladder. Look how cool he is. Me and my bitch so much. Everyone's vibing. Look at him. Look at him. I get him. Round it, round. Round it, round. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. My mom really lived her life until she had me in 2002. <laughs> you were vibing. It's such a vibe. He's such a vibe. Yeah. Videos are still cool nowadays, but back, back they then they hit like that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. oh. oh yeah, that's definitely a more happier song. <laughs> uh, happier, like. Um, the guy that wrote this with him or that um helped produce his name Shock G, he actually was engaged at the time, and Tupac uh, was kind of put on um, writing duty, so he was the one that wrote the song. Yeah. But he was very careful about writing something that was like appropriate for him, for his mm -hmm. verse. And Tupac was like, I'll take care of like the I get around part. I'll, I'll let me do that part. And no so guy. yeah. That's why he's just the only one that you see with BQ. I see, <laughs> because the other guy, Brian. <laughs> yeah, so right. yeah, yeah. yeah. Come, Come on, on, man! Come on! What? I did, yeah. What are you doing? Oh, people, Dre, let me say it. It's the streets of LA. I'm just moving. Hey. Kelly is what we get the back down, baby. Love. <laughs> it's time to party. California knows how to party. Why is the they're moving? They're on their way to the Thunderdome. See <laughs> it? How did you notice? I'm a businessman. My inner pot kind of came. You know what I'm saying? It's about California. Hey, we keep it rocking. We keep it rocking. Fresh out of jail! Oh, sorry. Just okay, another is, one of his iconic songs. This is California songs. theme yeah, song. Yeah, like... Like, this put California on the map, because every time you come up into California, you gotta be playing this song, like... Yeah. Why does this song do this to you? Five, it's the energy, that's crazy five, this many years later and still do that. Like, that's a different type of energy, man. Oh, this can ask here. Jada Pinkett Smith that, because she's the one that came ooh, up with the theme. Ooh. 
Uh, I'll ask Jada why okay. why they did Mountain Jada. Why did you guys go <laughs> Mad Max for California Love? Um, I read the book, so this is the only reason this oh, little God. bit of info I know. Uh, Jada yeah. originally came up with this idea for Jada, this. Jada, Jada, Jada Pinkett. Pinkett. Yes, she me? came. Yes. And Pac was like, no, I don't want you around, Suge. It's a little too dangerous, da 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 So he yeah. took parts of what she came up with conceptually, and it turned into that. My childhood years was spent worrying my peers in the cemetery. Here's a message to Damn. the newborns waiting to breathe if you believe. <laughs> See, I told you I'd forget! And I'm just now in it. Wait, what is happening? He was brave for this too, like he's like hanging like Jesus. Damn. It's a classic. Another class. I tried to sit still on that one too. You getting me with these hooks. Somebody hanging. That's telephone Tupac. Wire. Tupac was hanging oh. from the telephone okay, wire. I didn't see that. What did we think? What did we see? What did you feel? Saw a lot of religious moments there. And we got kind of like a dark theme going on mm -hmm. here. So. Do you know what year this was made? Yes. It was in 1997. Like, he knew how to reach the people. Every time, back to back to back to back to back to back. And that's why he's still a legend to this day. To this day. Did y'all go to the museum? Oh my god, no. no. What? It's in LA, right? Last yeah, it was. it was. It starts literally from, not even from Pac. It doesn't start it with Pac. It starts with Athena. Oh. With her and the Black wow. Panther movement. Yeah. Then when he was born, yeah. the things that she instilled in him, what he yeah. took from her and how he moved to his whole walk throughout life. The jail cell that he was staying in, like they replicated that. A lot of his documents, original documents was a part of that. Like from his, uh, uh, his booking, the pictures from that, like uh, his journal. This dude wrote so much. By the time you get done at the end of that whole thing, you are literally bawling, crying. And I can see you coming home after oh, work play. Oh, yes. the kitchen, trying to Dang, it was a hot plate. Just working with the straps, she was No, I had that no Every Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. You it out, you your head. Aww. Uh, it's on your own. And there's no way I can pay you back. But my plan is to show you that I understand. You all appreciate it. Don't you know? And dear mama, please no one above us. You all appreciate it. Damn! Dear mama, I love you, mom! It's such it's a so good fun. song. The lyric, this is one of the songs where There's I like mom. really thoroughly listened to the lyrics, mm -hmm. and it's just like. There are two two songs that does like an amazing job. Boys and Man, Mama. You hit it right on the head. I was yeah. hoping you was gonna say that, bro. Boys yeah. And man, mama, and then Tupac, dear mama. Yeah. It's like neck and neck. That was Tupac's first top ten song on the Billboard Hot 100, and would go on to become certified triple platinum for reasons that we know. And then in an interview, he says, "I wrote it for my mama, Athene, because I love her and I felt I owed her something very." Deep. There was like a little poster of like a Black Panther. Her mom was a Black Panther, uh -huh. so yeah. Yes, she was a Black Panther mm -hmm. activist. Uh -huh. And she went through a lot um, with Tupac. Mm -hmm. In fact, like that wasn't even his name. Uh, he had, his first name was Lashane, I think. <sighs> yeah. Lashane or Lashane, and then she changed it to a revolutionist from Peru, Tupac. Mama check it in my bedroom, I ain't there. I got a head with no screws in it. Can I do one life to live when I got nothing to lose? I swear, it's because I'm not focused first, and then the music comes on, and then I, I just start mm, vibing. Like the studs to my homeboys and Clint Max, who when they be raise hell to this real shit and feel this when they turn out the lights. I'll be there in the dark, the lucky turn them through my heart. Now, hell, man. Or a church bell. One quick see, what do we have here now? Do you wanna ride a ride a da 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 It fit very well with the song as well, versus the Mad Max color thing. That's true. What do we think? Uh, police? Thug it, thug it, it's a thug song. Man, it's just very introspective, like, just everything he was spitting in. And it's crazy. The song's about a man on the run with his friends feeling trapped in a world full of violence and hardship, and he calls to God to come to his aid and rally his friends to his side. So, ride or dies, I guess, kind of like, y'all got him? <laughs> yeah. 
fun fact, this actually came out on A Christmas Carol in Sri Lanka on what? accident. They, they printed the lyrics to it on accident. They saw Hail Mary. Oh and... my God, no way. <laughs> one through 10, what would you rate this one? I love this song. Hail Mary is such a good song. Uh, it's a good song. I'll give it a 10 out of 10. I have to go, I have to go watch it. I have to go watch the video and listen to it. I left you with a cliffhanger, so you there you go. I wonder why we take from my women while we break our women to hate our women. I think it's time to heal for our women, time to heal our women. I still need the head bob. And if we don't, we'll have a race of babies that will hate the ladies that make the babies. And since a man can't make one, he has no right to tell a woman when and where to create one. So will the real men get up? Right. I love that song. He is like supporting women. What's the name of the song? What do we feel? What was the video? Women, have, women, should have, women have control over their own bodies mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, this one he specifically really, um, this he dedicated to Latasha. Have you guys ever heard of Latasha Harlan? Yeah. 15 year old African American girl who got shot and killed in the 1992 Los Angeles riot. And Tupac's message I'm implored women to know their worth. So, a one of a kind anthem concerning the times. Wow, that's awesome. What did you think about it overall? 1 through 10? 10. That's a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Thank you for dedicating a song to us. But you made it in a sleazy way. That's the way it is. That's just the way it is. Hey, what he said. Things will never be the same. That's just the way it is. The song. This Talk is the song. about this it. This is such a woke song. Dupac connoisseur. Yeah. Boy. <laughs> I love Casey. <KCJ. laughs> okay. I like the visions. I yeah. never thought about that, but yeah, he um, and this one specifically, yeah, he was touching on racism, police brutality, mm -hmm. drugs, gang violence, um, and it was nominated for a best rap solo performance at the Grammys in 2000, and mm -hmm. it remains to be the only song to be nominated in this category from an artist after their death. Yes. He did. He won a Grammy after his death. It's insane. Actually, I've, I've, I've heard that song many times before, oh. and I do like that song a lot. Okay. Best Tupac song of all time. Ambition as a writer. Ooh. It's going to be Dear Mama for me. I mean, he defined an entire genre of rap, or was a part of defining an entire genre of rap. I have a good one. 